All right, the day has finally come. We are doing a unboxing video of FSD 14. We just got it this morning. Go ahead and look at the release notes here. As I'm sure you guys have seen, this is FSD 14.1.4. Uh, was released the other day. There was a couple big waves going out it uh, this morning, last night, and the AI team over at Tesla has been doing an incredible job. So. A shock props to you and the, the whole team. We have some arrival options here, as I'm sure you guys have seen, speed profiles, UI improvements, um, a couple other security improvements here that were back in 32.6. But what we wanna know is how the car drives in FSD 14. So we have this new start self-driving button. There's no longer the brake to confirm to start drive. And I've seen a lot of videos here, but we're going to go over to a auto zone i have a destination here um, i have done this drive multiple times and uh, the reason i'm choosing this area to start is because all traffic must turn right and we are trying to turn left so we're gonna have to uh, unfortunately abort this unless it decides to go uh, it wants to go left it's gonna go right okay it actually did a really good job there um, and it's going to try to turn us around. Okay, it did a pretty good job. Let's see what it's gonna do. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, I, uh, it is now going to take us all the way around through this neighborhood here, um, putting FSD 14 through its stress tests here. Um, one thing I do notice right away is how much faster it is to respond. Um, in, immediately when you hit the start button, it just reversed and um, starts thinking, starts starts getting its um, its wheels turning and it, and it is doing a really good job. Fellow Tesla there rolling through, looks like a Model 3 2019. So we're gonna pull up this stop sign. It's gonna go back and loop us around and then it should be interesting because we now have these different options to, let's see what it's gonna do here. Kind of did a little bit of brake stabbing there waiting for this car to saw what it was gonna do. Um, but we now have the option to let the computer know whether we're going to be arriving at a garage, a parking lot, a side road, uh, for those of you that are in city parking. And it will go ahead and try to park the vehicle and um, find the best spot for you. Now I am in a 2025 Model 3 Performance. This car does not have the front bumper camera. so. We're not sure if that is going to be coming to the Model 3 Highland or to any other uh, Teslas for that matter with Harbor 4. Um, but the car does seem to be doing a really good job. It is taking the initiative. I, I would say that's one of the biggest differences that I've noticed is that it takes initiative and it does extremely well. We are in hurry mode, which is typically where I have liked to keep my car in, especially on FSD 13. And um, as you can see, we're you know having a good drive here. The one thing that I do know that has been removed is the offset, where before it was recommending you to keep the speed offset at 40%. It's no longer in the settings here, um, but we still do have the option to obviously change the, the mode here of your drive. So if I go left on the scroll wheel here, um, we have standard mode. I can go all the way down to, there's two new modes. We have sloth mode and then Mad Max mode. Um, I, spoiler alert, I have already gone to the uh, destination before we started this drive here. I did use, um, you know, the, the new version of FSD in Mad Max mode because that is, fits more of my driving style and it is extremely assertive um, to the point where it, it does do a little bit of over, you know, speeding, I would say. so. Um, other than that, I haven't tried it on the highway yet, but in as far as like the back roads, everyone else seems to be saying the same thing, but it does feel really good. FSD 14 feels like it is a human driving. I cannot express that enough. Um, and I, I you know, the, the, the versions and the builds will continue to get better as we, um, you know, we, we go through the new year. I think we're going to see a lot of really cool improvements. A lot of people are hinting at maybe a banish mode where you park your car up to, let's say Costco and the car goes and finds you a spot, parks, and um, then you can summon your car to come pick you back up if that's, that's your kind of thing, which does work really well. People that 
have not used summon before i highly recommend to do it i've never had an issue using it um, something else i do want to talk about and i'm curious when we get to this spot where we're going which is about an eight minute drive from here is is it going to park itself i chose this spot for a reason um, so where we pulled out of i always had the issue of fsd 13 turning left on a no left turn and then this spot where we're going has always been an interesting spot to find parking because there's not a lot of lines and direction, if you will, to say, hey, here is a spot to park. So we're gonna see that here in, in a little bit to see what happens. Now, um, the one thing I wanna talk about as far as parking goes, in version 13, you had to have the front facing camera. Um, so the front facing camera to park in straight, to pull directly into a spot and not back into a spot. Like I said, my car does not have the front facing camera. We're not sure if it's gonna come to the cars or not. We don't know extensively how much the, um, you know, the, the front bumper camera is going to affect FSD and parking. What I can say is the ride does feel extremely smooth. Um, we do have this menu here. I don't wanna cause any issues um, as far as not looking on the road and then causing issues with FSD. So I don't wanna play with it too much, but there is curbside, there's parking lot suggested here, hurry mode and Mad Max mode. Um, I did go play around with that a little bit earlier um, as we're getting a please pay attention road uh, uh, monitoring sign there. I, I do believe those signs will go away. Um, I think just with this new build, they just obviously for safety reasons have to be very careful. And I think we did see that kind of those training wheels go away a little bit on FSD. And I think we will, uh, like I said, as this new build progresses and people give their feedback, um, we will see less and less of that, which I do encourage you guys, if you are an FSD 14, please, please, please uh, give as much feedback as you can. Um, if you guys aren't aware, if you do go ahead and disengage FSD, you can go ahead and give your feedback via voice on the computer here on the Tesla screen. Um, and then the Tesla group over there does really appreciate that. Um, just, just makes for a better experience for all of us as we all have different driving areas where we live. So, um, doing a really good job here. looks like for some reason, this is a two lane road. Looks like it was gonna go right there and did not want to go. Got a fellow Model Y behind us. Turn signal is still on. I'm not sure why it's not getting over. Okay, so it, did, it put the turn signal on there and decided that it did not want to go over and wanted to stay in these two lanes. Not sure what happened there. Um, again, we're on standard. Let's go ahead and switch it to, to hurry for the fun of it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch it to Mad Max mode. Why not? Have some fun before we get there. If you guys do like this video, make sure you guys give me your feedback in the comments below. Um, appreciate you guys subscribing. This is my first FSD video. Um, I just picked up a camera rig and hopefully that, that looks good as well. Um, a lot of people over on X have been talking about the brake stabbing. I haven't had any issues with the brake stabbing. It seems very... Um, intermittent as far as just people's different experiences go my my friend actually did have as soon as they updated their car had an, an issue with the brake stabbing and said that they felt that um, but one, it was like a one and done type of situation but others have had more consistent I have not had too much other than maybe that stop sign back in that development over there which that wasn't really a brake stabbing that was just trying to figure out hey is this car gonna go we're we gonna go what's what's going on here um, <clears throat> so we got a half a mile up here. We'll make a right turn. We're going to go into a parking lot. Looks like we're coming up on a, is that a white cyber truck? I think that is a white cyber truck up here. Um, again, we're in Mad Max mode, so we are going to be making some, I guess, more aggressive and assertive keyword on this, this drive here, assertive, um, turns here. So we're following this cyber truck. No disengagement so far as you guys have seen. It feels really good. It does feel human. Um, that that was wow. I mean that that right there in Mad Max mode. That just and this. I mean, you, you guys. This doesn't. If this doesn't get you excited for the future of autonomy, I mean, this is incredible. Um, it really feels like a human is driving in the car. 
Nice uh, license plate there, number 10. White Cybertruck. That thing's pretty cool, huh? Um, the Cybertrucks have not fully gotten FSD 14 from what I've understood, but they will be coming for sure. So if you guys haven't gotten FSD on your Cybertruck or FSD 14, uh, just stay patient. It, it will be coming, I'm sure. Yeah, Mad Max mode feels really good. The only thing I would think is like if we could just not make it drive as fast. I think it was driving like 15 over the speed limit on a 35. And if we could tone that down a little bit, which I'm sure it's in the settings here. I haven't played with it too much, but I'll be able to turn it down and um, we'll see what happens. But it, it Mad Max feels extremely human and assertive. I mean, that's just more my driving style. Um, so to me, it feels more um, sentient and human, if you will. So we are going through the back lot here, which is not the way that I would have come to this auto zone, but we'll see what it does here for, for a parking job. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, plenty of parking spots here. Is it going to choose to back in? Yes, I think it is. Again, I think that has to deal with the fact that there is not a front facing camera on this car. Um, there is only, oh, or maybe is it gonna park into this spot right here? No, I think it is gonna back up. I think that's probably one of the only biggest, I mean, other than collision avoidances as well, um, issues with uh, not having the front facing camera is the ability to back up. Now, I can't get out of the car and show you guys right now, but if you guys saw on the screen there, the two lines, that's another thing that I've noticed with FSD 14 from watching a bunch of videos and just hearing some feedback from buddies of mine. It's not doing a great job at parking like perfectly straight in between the lines. So I'm sure that will be fixed uh, eventually, but, um, and I, I, my car is pretty clean for the most part, but, um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and end this video here. I'll create some more content for you guys again. Really appreciate you just giving me your feedback. Let me know your guys' thoughts on FSD 14 and make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys for the next one.